Hello everybody, I'm Raccoon from Raccoon's Corner. I bet you guys who use TeamSpeak are wondering how to run two clients. Well right now, I have two clients running. This is number one, and this is number two. And today, in this how-to, I'm going to show you how to run two. But, for this demonstration, you will need a program called Hex Workshop. Now it is free, and it's in version um, six, and I'll post a link in the video description to that. But what you want to do is access the start menu here. You want to go to I'm I'm on Vista, so I search in Hex Workshop Hex Editor. Now here I go, and what I'll want to do is I'll click Open, and I'll open up the original TeamSpeak client, which is right here. I'm gonna make sure you can see that good in the region. Um, and I'm gonna control find this TeamSpeak multiple instance blocker and it's right here now as you can see there is values for this now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it with zeros so I'm gonna null it out and it's completely gone and just in case you want to change your operating system you can type in Windows XP and then it'll show you to here and you can change it Windows NT is Windows Vista and you, as you can see here on this client if I, whoops, if I right click and get connection info, Windows V is right there because I edited my client to do that. Um, you can change it. And, but basically that's about it. You null it and you can save it as TeamSpeak and then edit one.exe. Click this, save it. Yes, it says that I can't do it. So I have to save in the owner folder. But since I probably have it open, it might, usually it errors out, but, so, I'm gonna go ahead and show the one that I just did, which is right here. And I'm gonna go ahead. I can't open it, as you can tell, because it has to be placed in your TeamSpeak RC2 folder, which should be there somewhere. Um, but seeing as I already have it done, I have two open already, and I guess I might as well go into here. And I'm going to simply go back into my owner folder, drag and drop it into here, and it wants to do all this weird stuff. And here we go. Um, TeamSpeak Edit 1, open it up. Now I have three running in the background, as you can see. So this has been a tutorial by Raccoon. My email is raccoon at raccoonscorner.com, or alternatively, you can email d 3 instruction 7 at gmail.com or something in case I can't afford my website in the future. Future, But basically that's it. How to run two TeamSpeak clients. Stay tuned for when I'm live at raccoonscorner.com. And make sure you, you can email me any tech questions or anything at, my email, at raccoonscorner.com. At my website there's a contact page which will make it easier for you. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.